Okay, here we go. Back in the late 70s, Yamaha produced these little gems. They were a snappy little two-stroke DT400. Now, 40 odd years later, I'm restoring this one back to good. And like most vintage bike restos, the seat, having seen more ass cheeks than a rented mule, is typically f Now, you can try taping them up like a NASCAR fender, but you'll end up with a dog's breakfast that looks like crap. Just ridiculous. So here's how to do it right. First, remove all the mounting brackets, plates, and hinges. Then you're going to want to pry open all of the shark tooth tabs and unhook the cover's edging. Ooh, that's a little manky. This frees things up and allows you to peel off the old skin like a pair of tight, wet jeans. Ooh, yikes. Now would be a good time to try and find a new cover. And thanks to modern technology, you should be able to source one on eBay in a couple of minutes. It's not hard at all. Yeah, hi, is this eBay? Yes, it is. Yeah, could you please send me a vintage motorcycle seat cover? Yes, sir, it's on its way. Perfect, thank you. Perfect. Now that's on its way, continue with the seat pan. Gently peel off the pan edge gasket and clean it up for reapplication later. Also take the time to inspect and clean, maybe even paint the seat pan as required. Then reinstall the pan edge gasket. Now you can use small strips of Gorilla Tape or glue or both. Just make sure it's on there good. Two inch spacing works nicely. Oh yeah, if you have a passenger strap, now's the time to mount those carriage bolts. Okay, now let's throw this thing together. Go check your mailbox. Okay, open your package and have a look at what 60 bucks Canadian got you on eBay. Yeah, it looks pretty good, right? Yeah, now the fun part. It's gonna be kinda like trying to cram your kid into last year's one-piece snowsuit. It won't be easy, but with enough pushing and squeezing, you'll get it to fit. Okay, once that's done, start locking things in place by hooking and bending the shark tooth tabs all along the seat pan perimeter. You can use the backside of your cutters for leverage, and as every electrician knows, they also double as a hammer. So go ahead and start pounding as required. They flatten everything nicely. Then if your seat has one, go ahead and bolt down the passenger strap as seen here. Use a couple of washers and locking nuts and you should be good to go. All right, looking pretty good, we're almost done. The only thing left is reinstalling and mounting brackets, plates, or hinges needed to stick this thing back on your bike. And then that's it. Take a good look at the finished product and marvel at the fact you somehow cobbled those bits and pieces back together to end up with a decent looking seat. Now go stick it on your bike and continue with the next phase of restoration. Or better yet, start her up and go for a ride on the damn thing. So thanks for watching. I hope that helped. And remember, always try and learn.